This is Credit Matters, and I'm Greg Moskowitz of the Global Fixed Income Research Group. The U.S. distress ratio increased to 4.9% in July after declining to 4.7% in June, its lowest point since May of 2011. The distress ratio has generally trended lower since the second half of 2012 as spreads have tightened. Standard & Poor's distress ratio is the number of distressed securities divided by the total number of speculative grade issues. Those Standard & Poor's rating services rates double B plus or lower. Distress credits are speculative grade issues that have option adjusted composite spreads of more than 1,000 basis points relative to U.S. Treasuries. The ratio indicates the level of risk that the market is priced into the bonds. A rising distress ratio reflects an increased need for capital and is typically a precursor to defaults when accompanied by a severe and sustained market disruption. An increase in the amount of lower rated issuance, particularly B- minus or lower, as a share of total new speculative grade issuance for a sustained period is generally a reliable indicator of imminent defaults. As a result of the low interest rate environment, yield-hungry investors' appetite for lower rated issuance increased significantly in 2012 and 2013. In second quarter of 2014, 32% of new speculative grade issuers were rated B- minus or lower. This is a decrease from 33% in the first quarter. However, the total number of new speculative grade deals increased to 149 during the second quarter of 2014 from 107 during the first quarter. There was an average of 141 new speculative grade deals per quarter in 2013. Although distressed issues predominantly have weak recovery ratings, a sizable portion are secured instruments that have priority claims in the event of default. Senior secured instruments accounted for about 38% of distressed issues as of July 15th, compared with 47% in 2013. The senior secured share declined during the second half of 2012 because issuance spiked and investors' appetite for unsecured deals increased. The proportion of secured instruments then increased in March 2013, making senior secured instruments the most representative debt type for the six months until September. In July of 2014, senior unsecured issues accounted for about 50% of distressed issues. More than half of the distressed issues continue to be subordinated or unsecured, and these issues generally face lower recovery prospects if their issuers default. You can find more information in the report titled, Distressed Debt Monitor, the U.S. Distress Ratio Rises to 4.9% in July. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.